Alright, so we're going to start a new game. As you can see, I haven't seen anything. Like, there was no continue to press. There was nothing. The subtitles should be on. If there's anything wrong with the sound, please let me know in the chat. Because I can always uh, change it up a little bit. Uh, but, um, yeah. It, it's harder to do that uh, after the stream has ended than when the stream uh, is actually in progress. So we're going to hop right into it. And I'm really curious how things are going to go. I have seen the trailer, which looks absolutely stunning. Uh, it looks a really nice environment where it's going to take place. I am not so good in horror games. I am spooked really, really easily. Especially when it comes down to the jump scares. Like, I can handle the gore, and I can handle the blood, and I can handle the bodies. There is a moment when you realize what the pain has made of you. In hiding, curled in on yourself, unable to show the world your face, acting on instinct, lashing out, even at those closest to you. Time has passed, and time is a thief. It has stolen your memories. The agony has faded, but so has every precious moment of joy. You have been hollowed out from the inside. And there's nothing left of the person you used to be. But you try. You try to remember how to smile. You try to remember how to love. And one day you crawl out from your hiding place and step back into the world. And then, every day, you do what you must to survive. There won't make it go away. Ugh. Salim, it's just turbulence. It'll settle down soon. Yes, yes, I know. It's hard, though. You know, your head tells you one thing, but your heart disagrees. Try to sleep. I couldn't. I keep imagining what might go wrong. I know someone who can help you. And who's that? Marka. Oh, I had no idea you brought him. I didn't want him to be lonely. I know, my heart. It's good for him to have an adventure, but he'll be glad when this journey's over, I think. He's had a hard life. And there's so much more to come. <laughs> Alex? Yeah, him. Oh. oh. <gasps> Yasmin, get up here! Hello. Hello. <laughs> So we crashed, I think. Well, not I think. I'm fairly certain we crashed. I, I think the man with us was our husband, the boyfriend. Don't or... forget. Don't lose it. No. No, come on. Need to find him. He must understand. Don't forget. It's it's her. It's all because of her. Focus. I am Desi. I am still Desi. You can 
Don't lose yourself. I... I have laudanum. It will help, but you must try to keep calm, or it will get worse. Do not allow yourself anger. Do not allow yourself to fear. You understand me, Tassi? So what I get from this is that we shouldn't be angry about anyone. And we shouldn't be fearing anyone in this game either. Though, as far as I know with Amnesia games, you're always followed by something or someone. So if that's the case in this game as well, you're going to be screwed. Because how can you not fear a creature or someone who is hunting you? Salim. So, I have to remember she will die. Find Salim. Okay. My book. My handwriting. I don't remember. Well, uh, this is Anisha. We don't remember. We have no idea what's going on. Welcome then, by the way, to the chat. And um, also very nice to see that this uh, whole don't forget moment is a flashback to previous Anisha games. This is Rida. This is doctor. Hello? That's... Are you there? That's the doctor. I'm here. I'm here. Crew of the Cassandra. Can anyone hear me? Hello. Hello? This is Tazzy? Uh. This is Dr. Mitzius. Yes. This is Rida. Salim. Is anyone there? Let's try these levers, see if they do anything. But it looks like they're Crew rather the bent, so... Please respond. I don't think that's working. Um... What's the moose doing? anything else we can try besides pushing the button and Please. using these levers. Uh, I don't think we can use anything on the ceiling either. Alright, so May Mason Blanche Airport, 5 pm passengers 12, crew 2, playing Cassandra, owning Sterling Shipping London, Great Britain. Uh, the model, the call sign is Cassandra. Oh, later. please don't try again later. The pilot is Nicholas Messon. Uh, it's 1937, which is rather important to know, I think, as well, to give it a little bit of context to the story here. And so we went from KS, KS? Friends who done via Insala, Algeria. And it should have taken one and a half hours. One way and the other way seven hours, which is quite surprising. Oh, it's goes via another place. Alright, so the first part is one and a half hours, the second one seven. So we landed somewhere in, I guess, Algeria. Okay, so we're alone. We're all alone. The door's broken. There was a handle, I think, before. Alright, so we got a handle. And there we go. It pushes outwards. And here we are in the desert. Which is rather surprising since this is a horror game. I would have thought that we were basically anywhere but a desert where it's all nice and sunny. I was here. I think. Where did they go? Where's Salim? It's all right, my friend. We'll get you out. Alright, so we crashed. We think we went out here already at some point. 
which is rather peculiar given the fact that we were found in, in or we found case, ourselves in the ship. Bandages, quickly. Hmm, bandages in the case on the left side, so that might be the only one we haven't searched yet. Alright, so I know how to run. It's rather nice as well. No, Rachel! Who is Rachel? Well, I can't seem to open that one. All stuff is broken, which is not really surprising given that the plane crashed. It. So I've got a Rachel, Elian, our own boyfriend, I think, or our own husband. Let's walk on top of the plane here and see whether we can actually find something. So. Basically, there's a lot of sand and there's this rock, so we couldn't really have chosen a worse place to land. Like, look at this, there's all open fields and sand, which would have been a much softer landing if it weren't for these rocks, which we landed on, so I guess that's a shame. <laughs> I've got a jasmine as well. <laughs> Who is sobbing. Did I miss something? I moved to fry out here. All right, so I have to stay in the shade. Um, which is here, but where is the next bit of shade we can go towards? I think over there. Alright, so here we are. We have to... I think we have to go somewhere. Just staying here ain't gonna help us anyway. So, let's continue our way. Try to find stuff. Wait, thank you. Well, we have no choice. We need to get them to shelter. I know. It's Selim. He's hurt. You know what he's like. Let's get him down there, then you and I can sit on him while the doc takes a look. Don't worry. The caves aren't far. All right, so I came back to the ship, I think. Caves. Caves. Did I? Empty water tanks. But at least by the sound of it, they're empty. Which means they're absolutely useless to us. Though I'm not entirely sure whether you have to eat or drink in this game. But for now, they're useless. Can I please go around you then? Where is the next piece of shade? Is there a bit here? No, there isn't. So, let's keep running. Though I think I am running right now by the looks of it. So I don't want to stay too long in the sun. Because I'm going to boil over. Here we are. Some shade. Let's stay here for a little while. Salim! Salim, are you there? Well, I think the answer is no. There are no footprints whatsoever. Though I think there's enough wind to... Well, but usually in desert there's quite a bit of wind to blow the footsteps away if they make an inundation at all. Since, you know, this is loose sand. This is not like dirt or something that holds its form. But the fact that I can't see any footsteps or any tracks whatsoever. Like, it seems deserted in the desert. Which isn't really a surprise if you disregard the fact that supposedly everyone who was in that plane walked out a bit hurt here and there and that somehow I was there with them it's just that I decided to go back to the plane for whatever reason woke up had a panic attack and then I don't know Alright, let's go to the next bit of shade, which I think is over there. This next big piece of shade is over here. Uh, let's go over there then, I guess. Hmm. Let's look around. There's a chest over there, so apparently people have been there, so I guess that means we're taking the right path. Is a little bit of indentation in the sand over here, so I imagine that that chest over there has been dragged all the way 
there's a watering bottle over there. Oh, there is a cave. Oh, thank God. All right, so this is looking creepy. Let's lift this off. But it's good, isn't it? People have been here. So, we'll be shot with salt instead of dying of thirst. I agree. Leon. What? No point giving your hopes up. We're in this shit. I can't place Leo's accent. Well, I'm burning, which is never a good sign. Let's see if it is. Let's take this. This is a watering skin, I think. Hmm. So we have to go in a deep dark cave, which isn't really nice, I think. It's a box. And another box of chocolate, which I think might not be the best thing to take with you if you're going to Dearest a desert. Dearest Susan, dearest Alfie, the stories don't do this place justice. It is amazing. You've never seen anywhere as busy as the market in Algiers. The smells, the flavours, the colours, and oh, the noise. I may have picked you both up a little something. You never know your luck. All my love, always. And now the big question is, did that actually survive? And who is dead in this story? Which I don't know. Alright, so stuff is stored in our journal, which is great. We've got a watering tank, which sounds horribly empty. Okay, so let's quickly open up our journal, because apparently that's what they want us. Alright, so here we've got our stories, or our notes, which is the fly plan which we saw in the beginning in the ship, or in the airplane. And now we got the postcard. So the reminders are the things that I wrote down, I think. I've got items, which is basically none, because we use the door handle on the ship, which we don't carry around with us, apparently. And so these are our memories, which are quite a couple of them we have already.